Hey everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs, and I've got some cool audio industry news for you today. I did a video a little while back, and it was called, Hey Brian, what's up with Gibson shutting down Cakewalk? And uh, in that video, I was talking about the fact that Gibson Brands was shutting down Cakewalk and killing the Sonar digital audio workstation software that they had made uh, for 30 plus years in the audio industry. A lot of people were, of course, decidedly upset uh, as a result of that, no one really knew what was going to happen and there were petitions flying around and all kinds of rumors and all kinds of things and now we know what has happened and it's actually pretty cool. Uh, a company called BandLab from Singapore has purchased Cakewalk from Gibson and uh, rolled it under their masthead and they have renamed Sonar uh, Cakewalk by BandLab. So Sonar is no more, long live Cakewalk by BandLab. And one of the really cool things that's happened from this acquisition is that Cakewalk by BandLab is now completely free. So you can get a fully featured digital audio workstation for free from BandLab. And this is a big deal. I have not really seen anything like this before because this is a completely, again, full featured digital audio workstation. Everything I have seen is that this is basically the top end version of what used to be Sonar, um, but now fully available as a free application. So it's kind of crazy uh, when you break it right down. I'm pretty excited to dig in and start checking it out. And it's not that hard to get. You can actually get it by just simply going to bandlab.com and following some brief instructions. I'm going to be showing you how to do that in a screen capture in just a few moments here. Now, one thing that a lot of people have been wondering is, uh, well, if I had Cakewalk Sonar previous to this, what's going to happen? From what I understand, everything that you owned will be carried over and you'll still be able to use it, but I think that you're going to want to start downloading and using the latest and newest installer for Cakewalk by BandLab instead of sticking to the older Sonar installers because, of course, the software will actually get updates now that it is Cakewalk uh, by BandLab. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, now, something that I saw, and you may want to check this on your side if you were a Cakewalk user previously, you're going to want to go to your email box and search for BandLab is what I ended up doing because what I found was an email from BandLab and that email was letting me know that I needed to go to the BandLab website and set up an account and that in the coming weeks, this email was sent a couple weeks ago, in the coming weeks BandLab would use that email address to link up with my previous Cakewalk information um, from before the acquisition and that is how things would sync up. So what you need to do is find that email or just go to bandlab.com and you want to sign up for a BandLab user account using the same email address that you had previously used for your Cakewalk user account. And from what I understand, everything will then be synced up. I don't know how long that will take and it could take a little while. Remember, there's a lot of user data that's going to have to be aggregated here in order for this to work. But overall, this is really good news. I think this is something a lot of folks are going to be excited about. I've been watching some forums and talking with some folks, and everything I'm seeing is that everyone's pretty excited so far and uh, able to get this full feature digital audio workstation for free. So kind of cool. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you in a quick screen capture how it is that you can get the software from BandLab and just real quickly how you can install it. We'll go through any new features that we find and things like that in later videos. Because remember, have no fear, even when Gibson did decide to shut down Cakewalk, uh, we here at Obedia said, well, yeah, of course we're going to continue supporting uh, Sonar when the software was, of course, known as Sonar. We were, of course, going to continue doing that, and we have continued to do that. We've still been working with folks to help them to get to know and get help with their Sonar software. But now that Sonar is no more and is now Cakewalk by BandLab, of course we will be helping you with that software as well. So if you have questions, if you want to get to know it, if you want to get to learn how to use it for music, production, maybe you're new to music production and this is your chance to get a full feature digital audio workstation for free and you want some help with it, give us a call at Obedia or visit our website and mention this video. When you do, I'm going to give you a sign up bonus when you call and sign up with us so you can find out about our subscription plans and our pay to go plans all available at Obedia.com. Of course, we're going to continue supporting this great software. We're going to do everything we can to help everyone out there to tame your technology because that is what we do best here at Obedia. So there you go, guys. Without further ado, let's dive in. I'm going to do a quick screen capture, show you how you can get the new Cakewalk by BandLab software. Make sure to leave me your questions, your comments, everything else down here in the comment section. Find us on, find us on your favorite social media network. And as always, guys, thanks for tuning in. Let's dive on into it. Okay, guys, so as I mentioned earlier in the video, you may have gotten an email from BandLab that stated that you need to create a BandLab account uh, which used the same email address as what you had your Cakewalk account registered to previously. Uh, and so you don't necessarily need to go and search for that email now. 
because that email was really just letting folks know that the launch was going to be happening of Cakewalk by BandLab. Uh, you can create an account, of course, at BandLab.com. This is the website right here, and you can just simply uh, create an account. You can do that with Facebook, with Google. You can sign up with your email address or log in if you already have an account. Uh, now, here's the Cakewalk website now as it stands. And this basically gives a statement about uh, what has happened with Cakewalk being acquired by BandLab. And uh, this announcement came on Wednesday, the 4th of April, 2018. So if you click on Learn More, this is going to take you to cakewalk.bandlab.com. And there's some various bits of information, which is pretty cool. The thing that everyone is going to be looking for the most, though, is how do you get the new Cakewalk by BandLab? We'll scroll down and take a look at this button right here, which is labeled Get Early Access. Click on that. And this is going to take you to another landing page right here. It's going to say Get Early Access Now. Click on that button. And you'll scroll down again and now click again, Get Early Access Now. And this is going to ask you to download a file called BandLab Assistant Windows Latest. This is the BandLab Assistant, so download this. Now that you have the BandLab Assistant, double click on it to run it. You may get a message which says that Windows Defender has prevented this app from running and it might put your PC at risk. Uh, now, you don't really need to worry about this. I see no reason that this app would put your PC at risk. So click on More Info. This will give you information about the application and then you'll see an option for Run Anyway. So you may not see that and you're not going to see that, should I say, until you click on the More Info. Then we'll click on Run Anyway. And now the software is going to take a moment. So the first thing that we'll be presented with is a login screen, which is going to ask us to log in to our BandLab account. So we'll go ahead and log in using our login information. Now I've logged into my BandLab uh, central account, the BandLab Assistant, and this is basically where I can get uh, quick and easy access to everything that is part of my BandLab account. This is where I can upload BandLab projects and go into the mix editor. I have access to sounds and sound packs. And then what everyone's going to be looking for is over here on the right hand side under apps. And you're going to see two things here. First of all, BandLab, uh, which is a social music creation platform. And definitely check out BandLab because there is some really cool stuff to be found from BandLab. You can click on open and that'll open BandLab. Look down and you'll see Cakewalk by BandLab. And this is where we can now choose to install. If we click the little arrow, we'll see information, learn more. But we can choose now to install. So we'll click on install. We'll see an option which will say, would you like to download and install Cakewalk by BandLab along with additional content such as Studio Instruments, Suite, and Demo Projects? And we can choose to install Cakewalk with additional content or install Cakewalk only. So let's go ahead and click Install Cakewalk with additional content. Now when I clicked on that, uh, I was presented here with a page on, on the BandLab website. And this is where you can basically tip the creators uh, of BandLab and Cakewalk by BandLab. So this is kind of an interesting way to be able to be a part of this entire project in, an, in a very different way. I think this is actually kind of a cool feature. Now if we look back here, uh, we'll see that the installation of Cakewalk by BandLab is going in the background. And now that the software has downloaded, I'm going to see some various uh, pop-ups happening telling me that files are being extracted and installed, things like this. Now, one thing I've seen is that if you previously had uh, Sonar installed on your computer, the software seems to remember your previous settings as to where it is that you kept uh, various files, sample files, things like that. Um, and where software was installed. So if you're moving over to Cakewalk by BandLab and you had Sonar installed, this should be relatively seamless. And I can see this because many of these locations that are showing up are the locations on my own PC uh, with regard to where I previously had Sonar installed. Okay, and then now the software should be installed. Now looking again in the BandLab Assistant, I'll see an option for Open for Cakewalk by BandLab. So let's go ahead and click on that. Oh, and one quick note, you can click that arrow there and select the option to uninstall. Let's click on open and open the software. So now we'll see some other pop-ups, perhaps files being moved around, various things like that. There's the splash screen, Cakewalk by BandLab. And now we're going to get uh, something that's going to pop up and say, you're running Cakewalk for the first time. Found some custom settings from a previous installation. Would you like to use those settings in this version? 
I'm going to go ahead and say uh, OK, because more than likely these should be uh, pretty much the same things that I had when I was using Sonar. So this will now tell me, in, this, in my case, it says multiple setting files were found. Uh, choose which I want to apply. So I can look at these now. And if I scroll to the right, you're going to see I've had many different versions of Sonar installed on my PC. I had Sonar X3 Producer. I had Sonar Platinum. I also had other versions of Sonar. I've been using Sonar for a long, long time. I'm going to select that I want to import my settings from Cakewalk Sonar uh, Platinum rather than X3. So we'll click OK. And then another, here's another pop-up. All audio data files have been kept in C Drive Cakewalk Projects audio data with your previous Cakewalk sequencer to prevent data loss. Do not manually delete this directory. OK. So now I have a pop-up showing on the bottom here. This is from Windows, and this has to do with the audio engine that's being used by Cakewalk. I can skip that and look at this later. Now all my plugins are being scanned, and uh, I can skip that if I want to or let that scan happen. Okay, and my VSTs have been scanned, and here we go. Welcome to Cakewalk by BandLab. And now you can start setting things up. And this is pretty much the same as what I'm used to from having used Sonar in the past. I'm going to click Next. Now I'll be asked to set my audio and input and output devices, and I can access the advanced settings for this. If I would like to, I can also look at my uh, audio inputs and outputs if I want to be selective about those, or I can just leave the default settings that come up right here. I can also open the advanced settings, set my driver mode. ASIO is usually going to work best, but it is worth mentioning that Cakewalk Sonar, and I'm going to imagine Cakewalk by BandLab, uh, has been and I'm hoping will continue to be always very friendly to the built-in audio codecs in Windows and that means uh, WDM and also Wasapi. Uh, Wasapi actually uh, in Windows 10 has great low latency operation so especially if you're using native audio devices on PCs uh, built-in audio cards, things like that. You can get great low latency operation using Wasapi. I'm going to stick with ASIO because that's what I've got in my system, but you could switch this depending on your own needs. Then we'll click on Next. Our audio device, device gets scanned, and then we'll see the MIDI inputs and outputs, and we can enable our inputs and outputs. I'm just going to skip those for right now. And then you can check or uncheck this option, Send Analytics to BandLab. Um, and this is just to send information about how the software might be working. If it crashes, things like that, you can enable or disable that. Click on Next. And now I'll say, let's get started. Use a template or create a new empty project. You can also open a demo song uh, if you have the demos installed. I opted uh, actually to skip installing the demo content. I don't necessarily need that, but you may have that installed. Anyway, now I can just simply uh, click to select a template, and I've got different template options available, 16-track, 4-track, basic, empty project, guitar amps, and vocals, so some pretty straightforward things to make use of right here. I'll click on OK for 16-track, and then there it is. That is uh, what I was used to seeing when I was using Cakewalk Sonar, but it's now Cakewalk by BandLab. So this is pretty darn cool, I have to say. You know, I, I really have to hand it to BandLab here. This is the digital audio workstation that so many people really fell in love with and were really frightened of uh, of losing. And it, here it is. And uh, so, again, you're going to want to spend a little time exploring this and opening your previous songs and things along those lines in order to get to know... Uh, how this is going to work with migrating from Sonar into Cakewalk by BandLab. But as of yet, I haven't really seen anything that has shown me uh, that this is different in any way. All of my plugins imported. Um, I can make use, of course, of all the options that I had with Cakewalk, Cakewalk Sonar previously. Um, so really, there's no difference that I've been able to see in Cakewalk by BandLab versus Cakewalk Sonar. So this is pretty phenomenal. Again, as I say, this is a full-feature digital audio workstation being given away for free. Um, so really, hats off to BandLab. I think this is going to be a really phenomenal addition to the digital audio world. I think a lot of people are going to get some great opportunities because of this. Of course, we'll be doing other videos going over uh, Cakewalk by BandLab, looking for new features, how things change, things along those lines, uh, to let you guys know how this works as time goes along. So if you have questions, if you're looking to get anything uh, specifically answered or anything like that, please feel free to be in touch with us on your favorite social, social media network and in touch with me in the comments of this video, Facebook, Twitter, um, call us direct at Obedia and PC Audio Labs. Find our phone number in the comments in the uh, details section of this video and also visit our website. And we do train 
you how to use uh, software like Cakewalk by BandLab. You can call and learn how to use this software one-on-one -on -one in real time with a professional professional digital audio trainer just like myself here at Obedia PC Audio Labs. We help you to tame your technology. That's what we do best here at Obedia PC Audio Labs. So there you have it, guys. Quick look at how to get the new Cakewalk by BandLab software. I hope you found it useful. Again, if you have questions, comments, anything else, please feel free to get in touch. Again, congratulations to the folks at BandLab and Cakewalk uh, on the launch of this software or the relaunch. I think it's a really big deal going to open some great doors in the digital audio industry, and I'm looking forward to playing around with it. Thanks, as always, for tuning in, guys. I'm Brian with Obedia PC Audio Labs, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.